in his bid to further his own understanding of the cosmology, Professor Smolin has cast his scientific net wide. And though he shares a lot of ground with Param Singh, and even Andre Linde, his interpretation of what happened before the Big Bang owes more to Charles Darwin than to Albert Einstein. The idea works by analogy to how biology works. It says that the universe has an ancestor, which is another universe. How is the universe born from the ancestor? According to this hypothesis, the universe is born inside of a black hole. A black hole is a star which collapses and where everything becomes infinite and time stops, there is a bounce inside of every black hole. The material contracts and contracts and contracts again, and then begins to expand again. And that is the Big Bang, which initiates a new region of the universe. Smolin's natural selection idea proposes that for a universe to prosper, it must reproduce. And for that to happen, it must contain black holes that, according to Smolin, spawn offspring universes. Before the Big Bang was another universe much like our own. In that universe, there was a big cloud of gas and dust. It collapsed to form a big massive star that star exploded, it left behind a black hole, and in that black hole there was a region, if you were misfortunate enough to fall in, you would find it becoming denser and denser and denser. You wouldn't survive this, but let's imagine you did, and all of a sudden it would explode again, and that would be our Big Bang. 